All right, boys, Nick's Daily here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Jalen Bronson, how he's completely elevated this franchise, and he's put together one of the best seasons in Nick's history. The thing about Bronson is that he has done something that nobody else in the NBA has. He has been without an all-NBA player in Julius Randle. He has been without Mitchell Robinson, OG Ananobi. I mean, take a look at this, guys. Randle has missed 36 games. OG has missed 27 games. Mitchell Robinson missed 51 games. Isaiah Hartenstein was on a minutes limit the entire 2024 year. And what has Brunson done? He's gone out there and put this team on his back and led the Knicks to the two seed. It's just ridiculous how Jokic and Luka and Shea and Giannis are getting more MVP hype. When Brunson, sure, he might not have the exact numbers as those guys, but he's also six foot one, six foot two. Those guys have not been without their some of their better players. Like that's three starters right there. I mean, that's literally three starters that have missed a bunch of time. And Brunson has not only just kept the Knicks afloat, but he's elevated his game and he's been a one man army. Remember when Becky Hammond was on live television and said that Jalen Brunson wasn't a one A player at the time. Brunson was averaging 25 a game, six assists, four rebounds, shooting 47 percent. And the Knicks were 16 and 11. But after that, Brunson averaged 31-7-4 on 48%, and the Knicks went 33-17. and I mean, if that isn't value, I don't know what is. Like, I don't think there's a more valuable player in basketball than Jalen Brunson. And is he my favorite player in the league? Am I a Knicks fan? Absolutely. But I'm a guy who has watched every Knicks game this season, and I've seen Jalen Brunson do things that nobody else is doing. I've seen him do things that nobody really ever has, like Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, those are uh, some other guys as well, like some of the best you know, top five players to ever play the game of basketball have done. But Brunson's doing it significantly smaller. He's doing it without not any help because the Knicks have a, still have a ton of talent and a great coach, an elite coach in Tom Thibodeau. But Brunson, to do it on the efficiency, to do it every single night, of course, Brunson's not missing games. He's just available every single night. He's got the ball in his hands 24-7. He's also taking a lot of charges, as much charges as anyone in the league. And he just elevates everyone else around him. And the thing about Brunson is there's no concern whatsoever about him going into the playoffs, right? Like there's there's no Knicks fan that's going to be sitting up here saying, oh, I'm worried about Brunson in the playoffs because of his size. He's going to get pushed around. Like, no, like Brunson, we know to this point that he is going to be at his best. We saw it against the Cavs. We saw it against the Heat. The only thing we didn't see is guys stepping up. But this time we've got Miles McBride. We've got Boyan Bognatovich. We've got Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart and OG Ananobi and Isaiah Hartenstein and hopefully Mitchell Robinson is going to be good to go. There's a lot of talent on this Knicks team. They move the ball well. The Knicks were a top five offense in a defensive team. And you look at the only team that did that. I mean, we're talking about OKC and Boston. I mean, these top teams in the NBA and the Knicks are right there. Coach Thibodeau, to me, should be the coach of the year. I get that the OKC's coach, they won, I think it was 57 games, or the youngest team to ever win 55-plus games. But look at the talent on that team. Tom Thibodeau has been without his all-NBA power forward for 36 games a season. He's missed OG for 27 games, his best defender. Mitchell Robinson for 51 games, his starting center. And then Hartenstein, his backup center, has been on a minutes restriction. Brunson and Thibodeau, to me, I mean, that's the best story in the NBA this season because you've got Coach Thibodeau, of course, who's trying to win his third coach of the year. Jalen Brunson's a guy who everyone wrote off. I didn't know anything about Jalen Brunson when he signed with the Knicks just because I only watched the Knicks and I didn't see the playoff run that he had. And I remember I made a video. I was like, why are the Knicks so obsessed with Jalen Brunson? And then Knicks fans were telling me, hey, look, you got to check this guy out more. He is cold. He's just built for the bright lights. He's built to play in the garden. And I started to look into him and I was like, okay, well, Brunson is not even close to being one of the top paid guards he's actually like the Knicks I think Knicks were like 17th or the 18th highest paid backcourt Devo Brunson Miles McBride I mean literally guys the Knicks are middle of the road in terms of how much money they're paying their guards and they're getting absolute just steal of value but Brunson I mean his footwork just him getting to his spots like looking on the screen right here I mean Brunson is just absolutely going to work he's just spotting up in the corner right now Man, I mean, this guy, his efficiency has been my favorite thing, but also just that dog in him. I mean, you can tell that Brunson just 
when the game's on the line, he wants the ball in his hands. He wants to win or lose his team in the game. And I truly do think that the Knicks can win a championship this season with Jalen Brunson as their number one option. There was a point in time where people were talking about, hey, look, the Knicks need another superstar. Or not another superstar because nobody was calling Brunson a superstar until right now. It was the Knicks need a superstar to win. Now it's okay. The Knicks just need to sort of round out this roster because if Julius Randle was healthy, I think we'd be talking about the Knicks being the best team in the NBA. And that's not even a stretch because when the Knicks were healthy, they went what was it 16 15 16 and 2 and now all of a sudden the Knicks are still the 2C despite that but I mean the Knicks were blowing out teams they had a 44 point win against the the Nuggets we saw them beat the T-Wolves the Sixers I mean they were just absolutely wiping the floor with teams but we know that you know Brunson is doing things that have just never been seen before I mean Brunson you look at the players in NBA history and when I say it never been done before I mean yeah like Larry Bird and Steph Curry did that when they won their MVPs but you know th two players out of all the players that have played in the NBA since then I mean that is a, is a very low percentage I mean Brunson's doing things that literally top 10 top five players have done Will Chamberlain Larry Bird, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and Brunson, like you look at his last 10 games, 61 points, 30 points, 20 points, 35, 35, 43, 45, 39, 30, 40, and it's the assist too, 6, 7, 10, 11, 11, 8, 8, 4, 11, 7. He's not turning the ball over, he's rebounding, he's getting steals, and the efficiency, so that, you know, that stretch is 38, 8, and 4, on 49 from the field and 40 from 3. You look at the NBA players in the last 50 years to score over 375 points in the final 10 games of a season. Michael Jordan in 1987, Kobe Bryant in 2006, and Jalen Brunson in 2024. Literally every player that I've named in this video is a top 10 player at the very worst, right? Um, you know, only three players in NBA history have scored over 375 points on 60% true shooting in the last 10 games. Wilt Chamberlain in 1963, Michael Jordan in 1987, and Jalen Brunson in 2024. And that's the thing about Brunson is that it's winning games. I mean, how many times have we seen players go out there and score the basketball, but their teams aren't winning? Like, the Knicks are winning. The Knicks are the two seed in the NBA, and Brunson's putting up video game-like numbers. I mean, I don't get how he isn't the MVP. I get, like, it, yeah, it comes down to the numbers, right? The numbers definitely matter. Like, Jokic is he's a seven-footer, so he's going to have better numbers, and Jokic is incredibly good. I mean, he's one of the most skilled and, and the best players this game has ever seen. But in terms of value, which is what the award is supposed to be, I don't think anyone is as valuable to their team as Jalen Brunson. Like, imagine if the Knicks took out Jalen Brunson off of their roster. They, would they make the playoffs? Do you guys think the Knicks would make the playoffs? Maybe the plane. I don't even know if the Knicks would make the plane. I really don't think the Knicks would even be that good. They've got a lot of talent. I mean, I think with Randall, the Knicks will make the playoffs, if I'm being honest. But there's a big difference between being an 8 seed, a 9 seed, or a 2 seed. The Knicks fans will let me know if they do agree with that take. But I'm just looking at Brunson, and every time he isn't on the court, the Knicks are just significantly worse. But hey, look, with Brunson and no OG, no Randall, the Knicks are still afloat. I don't think they would be afloat without Brunson. I truly don't. He's been a top five player this season. He's second in 45-point games, second in 40-point games, second in 35-point games. And the only reason he's not number one is because Luka Doncic is number one in all those categories, right? You take a look at the total number of 40-point games this season. Brunson has 11. Jason Tatum, Nikola Jokic, Jalen Brown, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard combined for 10. That means that Brunson has more 40-point games this season than some of the top 10 players combined in basketball. I don't think Jalen Brown's top 10, but the other guys are absolutely, in my opinion, top 10. And it's just insane. I mean, the most 40-point games in a single season in Knicks history. Bernard King, 13. Jalen Brunson, 11. Patrick Ewing, 11. Brunson had a similar season to Bernard King and Patrick Ewing. I mean, just absolutely historic numbers. Over the last 20 games, Shea, 27.2 points per game. Brunson, 33.1. Shea, 5.1 assists per game. Brunson, 7.3. And then the efficiency, 50 from the field for Shea. 49 for Brunson. 31 from three for Shea. 39 for Brunson. And then the free throw, 84 Shea, 85 Brunson. The best 20 games, Brunson has been, without question, the best point guard in basketball. And he's just getting started because he's about to lead us to a deep playoff run, man. The Knicks are winning the championship, bro. The Knicks are winning it all. Let's go. I hope, at least. I hope. <laughs>